So, where do you put your brand new Skechers? You put them on your feet. But would you know that there is something called being a sneakerhead? A uh, sneakerhead? Uh... Autocorrect. What's wrong with you? So, everybody might be wondering, how does it work? Well, look. So, let me get this clear in advance. One way that you can find shoes for a good price is by going to StockX. It just makes a lot of sense. Here at StockX, one of the most highly valued shoes is probably the Jordan Retro Ones. There's a Royal Toe, Lois Ask 215. There are almost 15,000 sold. The last sale was for $262. But you want to look at here is... Let's just look here. The the fluctuation. Uh, sale price 255 all the way to 300 These shoes are investments. So I recently got these pair of shoes for $70 at an Adidas store on sale. But for a small two times the amount, I could have gotten a shoe that is going to trend up to the amount of... This is the same shoe, no autograph, lowest ask, $5,553 for a buy, not even for a bid, to buy. Take the... 2011 Nike Air Mags as seen in Back to the Future, for example. At launch, these shoes sold for $2,300, which may seem like a lot, but to think that this shoe is now worth $21,000 for a lowest ask, that is a $20,000 increase. But $20,000 on a shoe? To put that into effect... Here's what you could buy with that. 333 years of Xbox Live Gold. 4,000 cups of hot chocolate. Large, by the way. Yeah, and that's a pair of shoes. So, what I'm saying here is shoes aren't just a thing that you wear on your feet. It can be an investment, and if you treat them right, they will end up being worth a lot of money if you... Find a good pair of shoes that is trending up and good prices. You may be sitting on a gold mine one day because, you know, the Jordan 1 Retros sold for 60 bucks back in the 1980s and now they're worth tens of thousands. Just wanted to say that. Shoes are an investment. Uh, by the way, Mom, I've been, uh, I'm a big fan of the Jordan 1 Mid Milans. Um, I'll work for it. Please. Okay, bye. But if your child comes to show you this, don't think that they're being greedy, asking for expensive shoes. If you're willing to invest in something like that, go right ahead. But I suggest that they try to work for that, and if they can afford it, um, you should let them find a pair of shoes that they like. Make sure you advise them, not just buying anything off the top of their head, but look at the trends. See how it's trending, and who knows, your child may just have struck another Nike Air Mag, who knows.